first glance, the mounds of fresh oranges, onions, and peppers look like the produce aisle of a supermarket. But here, the shoppers are local food pantries, and the store is the Capital Area Food Bank of Texas. Each day, representatives from food pantries and hunger relief organizations come to the food bank's 60,000 square foot distribution center in Austin to shop for fresh food for hungry Texans in need. As a member of the Texas Food Bank Network, their shelves are stocked with the expected non-perishable foods. And yet a new push to introduce healthy, nutrient-rich produce has changed how all 19 regional food banks in the network operate. 30 years ago, food banks were about pounds in, pounds out, irrespective of what they got. Today, we are part of a system called a CHOP system, and that's Choose Healthy Options Program. So we're all about getting nutritional food into the community. The Texas Food Bank Network is also a member of the Feeding America Initiative, whose goal is to provide healthy food for needy families. They're hoping to increase these fresh, nutritious donations by one billion pounds in the next five years, an ambitious goal that requires a shift in the typical view of food banks, a shift that Parrot said is not only possible, but is already happening. Well, last year, over 25% of what we distributed was fresh produce. Our goal would be to get it to 50%. If we can get the right products out there, it makes a big difference. Michael Lotto with Foundation Communities regularly shops for fresh items for his organization's clients. Lotto visits the food bank three times a week to collect food for the Austin area nonprofit. Mostly I look for things like potatoes, onions, um, veggies if we can get them. We've had some squash recently, fruits, anything fresh that I can get. While Lotto picks up the typical canned goods, he looks for fresh items to complete each order and to bring back something extra for his clients. For Texans who rely on food banks, fresh food is more than just healthy, it's a luxury. Fresh produce, milk, meat, and eggs are key components of the Choose Healthy Options program, receiving the highest marks for nutritional value, quality, and freshness. That's where Texas farmers and ranchers step in. The food banks have joined with the Texas Department of Agriculture to collect excess food on Texas farms and ranches. The program, called Texans Feeding Texans, encourages farmers and ranchers to donate produce to the closest regional food bank. Since the program began in March 2002, Texas farmers have donated more than 35 million pounds in fresh produce to Texans in need. I think any small business wants to support the community that they are in. And so we do that by donating eggs that are either um, of the wrong size or we just had excess that week. We donate to the food bank pretty regularly and we think it helps a lot of people and we're happy to do it. Just five minutes away is Vital Farms, an organic egg farm co-owned and operated by Jason Jones. For the last two years, Jones and his employees have collected extra eggs to donate. Once a week, the Capital Area Food Bank sends a refrigerated truck to pick them up. He views the program as an opportunity to give back to his community and improve overall health. For Vital Farms, donating is an easy way to provide nutritious food to neighbors in need. So I talked to the guy um, at the facility and they say that the eggs go really quick. Uh, the the non-perishable canned stuff is, uh, you know, probably what people are used to getting. So to be able to provide a fresh, super nutrient dense little superfood, it really feels good and, and I hope that people enjoy it. More donations from Texas farmers and ranchers are needed in order for the Texas Food Bank Network to reach its goals, and participation in the program is easy. For Texas food banks, ending hunger is only part of their job. Providing healthy food for growing Texas families is the bigger goal, one that they hope Texas farmers and ranchers will join them in reaching. For TFB News, Amanda Hill, Austin.